Is, are, are these complaints against Liz Truss's proposals justified or not? Um, well, there was no, would have been no point in Brexit if we didn't take advantage of the freedoms it gave us, um, both in signing new trade deals and in deregulation. So, I mean, it would be nonsense if, if the government of Liz Truss and other candidates for PM were, were not uh, looking at um, removing some of the, these regulations. Um, the, the, the trouble is that every government, as far back as I can remember, has tried to have a bonfire of red tape. And what happens in the end is, you know, a few minor regulations go, but um, governments continue to load the statute book with even more regulations. And um, our record since uh, Brexit has not been great. We've Apart from deregulation, we've had sort of extra regulations loaded on people in businesses in the form of animal sentience bill and so on. So I, I really don't hold out much hope that we are going to have a genuine bonfire of red tape. But as to whether um, the union should be worried, I mean, working hours and um, working practices, paid holidays and so on, are um, are included in 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 some of those um, EU regulations which we picked up over the period of our nearly 50 year membership, but at the same time, some of those are really quite popular with people. It's it's not that every EU regulation was silly, and um, you know, talk, talk about the sort of roaming charges for your mobile phone. I mean, who, who really wants to be ripped off when they? go and use their mobile phone abroad. Um, so I, I think this trust will, will run into some difficulty in that, um, you know, when she looks in detail at some of these regulations, that actually, you know, they're, they're quite popular and we would probably have introduced something very similar had we not been members of the EU. And the other thing is that throughout our membership, we, we used to get EU directives and we then had to incorporate them into UK law, which we did via acts in Parliament. But the, the trouble is, what, what often used to happen is that Whitehall gold-plated those regulations, and we, we ended up with something far more sort of severe than, than what the EU was actually demanding. Uh, and, um, you know, sort of sorting those, those sort of regulations out you know, you, you think, well, we might sort of um, do away with the regulations on paternity leave, for example, but then you find, well, actually, they weren't EU demanded by the EU anyway. They were they were put in by by, by Whitehall. So, uh, I, you know, I, I really don't think we're, we're going to have this great um, bonfire of um, uh, red tape. And if I were a union leader, I wouldn't actually be privately that worried at all. Do you think we're going to see a lot of this over the next uh, few weeks while the two uh, leadership hopefuls, um, you know, sell their wares? Do you think we're going to hear a lot of slogans that actually mean very little and probably will never happen? Well, of course we will. That's the that's every every election uh, is like that. But I mean, if, if we look at some of the EU regulations that we really could do with them doing away with, I mean, for example, I mean, 20 years ago, um, Britain had a very promising um, industry in genetically modified foods. Now, that was um, effectively killed off by EU regulation. I mean, it made it very difficult to conduct trials in GM food, and the industry simply went elsewhere, um, to the States, to uh, countries outside Europe, even though we ended up eating GM food anyway. But, um, you know, again, I ask really, would if, if we hadn't been members of the EU at that time, would we really have, um, might we have passed similar rules here? I mean, you go back 20 years and you look at that sort of Frankenstein food headlines in the tabloids and so on, and you think, well, uh, you know, the, the move against GM foods was was actually more severe here than, than perhaps throughout mm -hmm. the rest of Europe. So, um, perhaps. Uh, 
Yeah, know, yeah. I'm not, I'm not convinced we're going to end up with a, a sort of um, genuine bonfire of red tape, which is, is going to um, release businesses from um, right. red tape. 